morning, everybody. Anthony's homemade love and great recipes. So, right now, I'm sauteing up some onions, okay? I'm gonna, um, oh crap, I didn't think about that beforehand. Our oh, can opener is not the best can opener. <laughs> but, anyways, I am making, I'm just throwing a little recipe together tonight. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute up these onions. Then after I saute up the onions and they're tender, almost transparent or whatnot, then... Oh, yeah, that was going to happen. There it goes. Then what I'll do is I'll throw in some hot dogs. Uh, saute them too. And then what I'm actually going to end up doing is I got a pan, which I got to grab. I got a 9 by 9 square pan. And what we're going to do with it is we're going to do chili, chili, baked beans, and hot dogs in the pan, and then cornbread over the top. Let's see what we come up with. So, okay. Our onions are sautéed. I've been sautéing them a little while before I did the video, before I started the video, because I needed to have some, some milk. Okay, so now, take out my hot dog. Actually, I'm going to take out a few hot dogs. I'm going to take out see, three, six. I have some in another package that I got to use so they don't go bad. I'm going to turn this down a little bit until I get there. Because what I'm going to do with the hot dogs is I'm going to cut them probably down the middle and then turn around and cut them lengthwise and also down the middle to kind of make bite size out of them. So cut down the middle. Six hot dogs. One can of chili mix, one can of baked beans, one box of cornbread mix. I was looking for some kind of recipe to do, and I actually this was something I came up with myself looking through uh, the uh, internet, uh, seeing a couple recipes, and I didn't have all of the uh, ingredients to do them. So I just decided to come up with one, and we're going to see how it turns out. Also tonight, once I get everything cooking or whatnot, you know, baking, I want to talk to y'all Coinbase. Uh, so if you want, stay, stick around and see what's going on. You don't have to. I appreciate you showing up. I always appreciate your love and everything that y'all leave on my videos. Uh, we are up to 200 YouTube videos now. Uh, we have 77, 7, no, we have, I'm sorry. We have 82 subscribers on YouTube. That has happened within the last month. I remember I was pushing to get 80 uh, by the first of the year. That happened. Um, and I'm very, very thankful for you guys for being with me this past two years or whenever you jumped on I gotta hurry up because I think my eggs or my onions hopefully they don't burn you know they shouldn't know I turned it down so now we're gonna take these hot dogs and we're gonna put it in and saute with our onions might be a little too many hot dogs but it'll be all right and then I just got uh, Hormel Armor Armor Chili and uh, Bush's Baked Beans. Bush is always my favorite on the baked beans. Um, I was going to do this in like a crescent and do kind of a bite, you know, like bites things. But then I decided, no, I got those because I was going to make a dessert with those. So we are going to make a dessert with them. I just haven't figured out which one yet. I ended up using my other pan, other can of uh, crescents to do, I think it was blueberry is what I did. 
there were blueberry bites or something like that. Uh, that was a few weeks ago. Okay, so I think we're done with this. So now I'm going to take my Jiffy corn muffin mix. Open it up. Now this calls for, I'm pretty sure, one egg and a third cup of milk. I had to get milk, so, you know, baby ran over and got milk for me. And I, that's when I decided to start sautéing onions so I could have them ready to put the hot dogs in and put the, so we could get it all sautéed together, you know? Okay, so, got to get the milk out and the egg. Milk's right there. One egg, one milk, and then I need a third cup. So anyways, how's everybody doing tonight? Who we got on here? Give me a shout out. Let me know who you are. Let's see. Let's see. We have Kimberly and Jocelyn. How y'all ladies doing tonight? And I don't know, that other picture looked kind of familiar. I just didn't see it very well. So a third cup of milk. Okay. Set the milk in the fridge. Get it out of the way. Stir up our hot dogs a little more. Just so we ain't burning it. I might as well turn it back up to medium so we can cook a little. <laughs> so I found um, I found a recipe. I don't have the ingredients was one reason I didn't do it. But the recipe is hot dogs with avocado and uh, something else. And I thought, wait a minute. And then the name of the recipe is Mexican taco or Mexican hot dogs. So I thought about that. I thought we might do that. But I don't have an avocado right now. So that'll be for another time. Now we're going to mix up our cornbread mix. Kind of set it to the side. And as soon as it's done, well, we're almost done with the hot dogs. And just so it doesn't stick to the pan, what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my vegetable spray, and I'm going to spray my pan. Okay, this we spray the pan, we're going to, now how do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? <laughs> no, what we'll do is we'll do the chili on the bottom. are almost there and then once we do the chili which that might have been the wrong way to go about it. no but it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine we're gonna put in our hot dogs with our onion that we sauteed in about a half a cup of butter and spread it all out try to make it even Turn off the stove. The oven is still preheating to 440. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take beans, a can of baked beans. I don't even know it's working for me. It must, have, it must be good that I'm doing this recipe. Okay, I'm going to take our baked beans. No way. This stopped working before. Okay, and then we're going to sprinkle our baked beans in there. We might not take the whole can and eat this is a little bitty can, you know. We're going to spread it out. And then what we will do, make sure it's all in there. Then what we will do, is we will take our cornbread mix and we'll put it over the top. Kind of like a, uh, I was thinking whether to do it over the top or do it over the bottom or do it first and put everything on top of it. But then I'm like, no, we'll do it over the top, you know. 
I like cornbread. Um, the way mom used to do it, I think she used to add like a teaspoon or maybe a couple tablespoons of um, sugar. I haven't done it yet, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's what she used to do. Um, we're going to try that sometime. I just, I don't think that we need the sugar in this recipe, so we're not going to do it. And... What? No, already put it in the hot dogs. So I don't have to wait until next time, baby. Eminem. Okay. So, anyways, make sure you get it into all the corners. You, want it, you know, you want it to be on top to where it bakes right. Um, so the oven is done. I'll show you what we got going on. This is our dish, and now we are going to bake it. Oops, sorry guys, I almost dropped you. We're going to bake it for 15 to 20 minutes at 400. So as it's baking, so the live's almost over, you know, but I just wanted to tell y'all. Have you heard of corn, Coinbase, okay? Coinbase is... A crypto market crypto being uh, decentralized coins that are not governed by any specific uh, entity governor governance or anything like that anyways coinbase if you go into coinbase okay you download the app and you go in there and you read the lessons that it gives you it gives you like six lessons that you can read if you read the lessons, the first lesson will give you a dollar. The second lesson will give you another dollar in, in a specific coin. Like you read to learn about that coin, and it gives you a dollar to learn about that coin. Then you go into another one. You learn all of them, and then you accumulate money. Well, if you take this money that you accumulate and actually may, okay, you learn, you earn, then you have a chance to withdraw it. And take it out of your wallet and spend it as cash or you can put the money that you earned for free into this wallet into different coins that daily bring you more of the same coin or you can trade it to whether it go up or it go down you can say whether it's gonna well it's gonna go up so I'm gonna put this much in and once it hits this height I'm gonna take it out or you can say it's going to go down, and if it goes down, and you put a, you, you have a stopping point where it's if it hits when it goes down, then you pull out. You make money this way, you, and you can start by for free. You can do anything from ones that aren't really popular, like your. I think I seen one today. It was called Zillas, and it was six cents for a coin. Um, it was down today. I think the, it's topped out at like 12 cents or something. Uh, right now, I have my all of my coin that I've earned from Coinbase, I have in Algorand. It is, it, well, when I started out, it was 30 cents a coin. And that was a week ago. It is now up to 60 cents a coin. And I've earned money on top of what I have invested in it already. Uh, it's, it's pretty lucrative. It's pretty cool. Um, hi, Babs. Uh, like I said, it's all for free. And you get to earn money this way. And you can take this money, you can trade it between the coins. Therefore, I know I know ben, most people have heard of Bitcoin, Ethereum. Um, I, I think there's another one out there right now. It's called Ripple. Uh, that's pretty popular. And these coins are always going to go up and down. And no matter if it goes up or down, you're still going to earn if you keep your funds in this wallet. So if you'd like to learn more, if you'd like to know anything about it, go ahead and drop me a comment and say, help. If you watch this and you kind of like what you're seeing, drop me another comment or drop me a comment, period. Let me know what you thought of the video. God bless y'all. I thank you for being here. I'll see y'all later now. Bye-bye.